hi youtubers welcome to electronics to the point in this video we will see how microwave oscillations are generated in reflex klystron oscillator this is the schematic of reflex klystron oscillator actually what is an oscillator oscillator is a device which converts dc input to ac output maybe currents or voltages for an amplifier how do we make an oscillator from an amplifier by connecting feedback literally an amplifier can be converted into an oscillator reflex klystron oscillator is a single cavity variable frequency microwave oscillator whereas klystron amplifiers i am talking about amplifiers are multi cavity devices they have more than one cavity for microwave oscillations let us see constructional features of reflex klystron oscillator it consists of an electron gun and a filament surrounded by cathode which is at negative potential secondly focusing electrodes are present which does not allow electron beam to disperse in random directions and these focusing electrodes insist the electrons to travel in linear beams the property of electrons is to disperse randomly due to, as they are charged particles we can see from schematic the anode part that is cavity is connected to positive terminal of the source so the positive voltage is induced in the cavity now electron beam travels towards the anode from the cathode and due to the positive potential of anode it accelerates the electrons and passes towards the repeller electrode okay now as repeller electrode we can see from schematic it is connected to negative terminal of the battery source due to the negative terminal of a repeller these electrons can never reach the repeller they are reflected back to the cavity as we know that anode cavity is at positive potential so it accelerates the electrons that is some energy was given to the electrons to travel towards the repeller and repeller reflects the electrons due to negative potential of the repeller electrode so electrons are sent back to the anode cavity right now these high energy electrons due to because of acceleration this energy was imparted to electrons right so now energy of electrons got increased okay these high energy electrons when reaches the cavity for the second time the oscillations are induced in the cavity okay this is how microwave oscillations are generated in the reflex crystalline oscillator now let us see the reflex crystalline oscillator operation this can be understood from investigating the applicate diagram shown to you in the applicate diagram we will investigate the different cases of electrons behavior for different gap voltages that is gaps in the word cavity gaps in the applicate diagram we can see three electrons are specified that is ee er el ee is a early electron er reference electron el late electron early electron is nothing but the electron which travels before the reference electron what we do is we consider the electron and take it as reference and we compare the electrons which are coming before that and after that okay now what is the reference electron when rf voltage is not induced when there are no specific conditions applied the electron we consider is reference electron with the with respect to reference electron we will take two cases early electron early electron is the electron which passes the cavity gap before the reference electron now late electron late electron is nothing but the electron which passes the cavity gap after the reference electron okay now let us consider that oscillations are set up in reflex crystalline tube due to noise or transients and these oscillations are sustained till end to produce microwave oscillations these can be understood by analysis of applicate diagram 
what i'm saying is the oscillations which are induced due to the transients or noise everything every device has noise transients okay if you off or on something there will be slight transients suddenly anything cannot go off and not uh, anything cannot get on okay those period is considered as transients we will consider the oscillations are induced because of transients this we will see by investigating the aggregate diagram as rf oscillations are induced initially so the cavity is excited by rf induced voltage which causes the velocity modulation of electrons okay due to rf rf is a sinusoidal right sinusoidal wave when the sinusoidal ac varying frequency wave comes to a cavity then as we are dealing with charged particles right and this is a tube whole tube is excited by charges through source right because of that voltage is induced that is rf voltage is induced in the cavity this causes the electron which is moving through the cavity to go with high velocity because of the induced voltage this is the velocity modulation of electrons actually what is this velocity modulation see electrons initially travels with some cathode induced voltage velocity okay with some charge it's moving right there will be some initial velocity to the electrons but when these electrons enters the cavity they are excited because of rf induced voltage in the cavity so this electron beam travels with high velocity this is called velocity modulation now let us inspect the applicate diagram for various cases of electrons i mean to say the various cases means early electron reference electron late electron which are under the influence of rf voltage right this uh, is induced in the cavity rf voltage is induced in the cavity and is acting upon these electrons okay we in this the fact of how oscillations are sustained in the tube can be understood by investigating this for this purpose i will consider reference electron and compare with early electron and late electrons actually these rf voltages or uh, oscillations which are induced because of noise transients they should have died out actually they should die out but these oscillations are sustaining till end for producing microwave oscillations we will see how this happening reference electron when traveling towards the cavity that is when rf voltage is zero we can see in applicate diagram reference electron position is at the zero crossover of gap voltage uh, let us uh, let me see the applicate diagram so that we can understand so there is no effect on this electron by rf voltage as there are there is no uh, voltage is induced right and this travels toward the repair electrode and get reflected back towards the cavity we can notice that electron is returning to the cavity for the second time okay from the reflex crystal schematic we know that cathode is connected to the negative terminal right so when the these reference electron when uh, entering from the cathode it it has negative charge right as there is no rf voltage is induced in the cavity now when this negative charged electron passes through cavity the whole cavity gap is filled with negative charge okay negative field region is built up so after this early reference electron this late electron will be coming out of cathode because of negative field induced in the cavity gap this electron velocity gets retarded okay as the late electron velocity got retarded the time taken from the repeller to reflect back to the cavity 
this transit time of uh, el late electron will be less such that all these electrons early electron late electron reference electron these all somehow come to the cavity gap at the same time when all these are come together they form like a group this is called bunch this bunch will be of high energy okay when these high en energy bunches reaches the cavity the microwave oscillations are induced in the cavity we can say that oscillations which are induced initially due to noise or transients acting on early electron at first are carried till end making them sustained in the tube from these oscillations for these oscillations to sustain the time taken by the electron to travel into repeller space and back to cavity gap must have a optimum value or any satisfying value so that these oscillations are sustained uh, this optimum value we are considering this factor is not important in klystron amplifiers as there is no feedback present in uh, klystron amplifiers it, this factor is not of importance but when it consider the reflex klystron oscillator it is of great deal as we are considering that we are referring to a bunch of electrons which got reflected from the repeller this is acting this repeller electrode is acting as an feedback this optimum transit time can be shown like t is equal to n plus 3 by 4 what is this it is nothing but return time of electrons to cavity from repeller space okay one it is the bunching time for reference electrons uh, see 1 3 by 4 i have mentioned right this 1 3 by 4 2 3 by 4 these are the bunching periods of electrons which are whole transit time of these electrons traveling from the cathode to repeller and repeller to cavity gap this is of one full cycle and three by fourth of one cycle this is the optimum value we require for obtaining the bunch high energy bunch so that this high frequency microwave oscillations sustained this is how we these oscillations are sustained in the reflex crystal oscillator you know your one click on my subscribe button means a lot to me please subscribe thank you